Hello everybody, my name's Rob with the photo, uh, not Photoshop, I should say, it's Lightroom. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about because uh, I'm used to using uh, Photoshop CS5, but I've recently got Lightroom 4, um, as I've said in, an, in another video, and I am loving it. Um, the power is phenomenal, and I just wanted to show you a few things I would do. I'm not a professional photographer. Um, but I do love to edit some pictures that my wife has taken and I love to play with uh, editing software so um, let's go and here's a picture that uh, like I said my wife took at a wedding and I really love this picture and I just want to demonstrate how quickly we can edit this picture in a few simple steps and make it look um, very very nice so let's go uh the temperature i'm going to leave the tint i'm going to leave and exposure i'm going to leave at the moment i'm going to bring the highlights down just a fraction uh, shadows down whites just up a touch and blacks down a touch just want to make them stand out a little bit before and after before after and um, I want to go to the adjustment brush so let's click on new and reset everything and I'm going to bring the clarity up a little bit and let's zoom in and I'm going to brush over her hair a bit just to make give it some more detail I'm going to press O to bring the overlay up. So we can see where we've painted. And if you go too far like this, then just hold the Alt or Option key and repaint over it while holding that key. Let go, then you can carry on adding to it. So I'm going to press O again. And I'm going to bring... Uh, the exposure up just a touch as well just to brighten her hair a bit and let's zoom back out and I'm going to select a new brush uh, reset everything and I'm going to bring the exposure back up and then I'm just going to paint over the couple just to make them stand out a bit more And like I said, this is how, what I think looks good. So you can think if it looks bad or you can think however you want. But, you know. So let's have a look. That's before. That's after. Before and after. Okay, so let's go and add some sharpening. Uh, let's zoom in a bit and just bring the sharpening up just a fraction maybe to 20 okay that's all right let's zoom out again and i'm going to add um, a subtle vignette And there we go. We've gone from, uh, sorry, this one. We've gone from that. It's a good shot, but it looks kind of flat um, to this. In fact, we could bring. Oh, I'm going to leave it like that. I like that. Um, I quite like that look. I'm just going to maybe bring the yellows out a bit. okay that's good i'm gonna leave it like that so before and after before and after like i said um i'm no professional photographer or anything like that i just love playing with it um and i wanted to show you a quick tip um that on the histogram if you slide your cursor over it highlights different areas and you can actually edit from here so for example 
I'm an exposure now and if I click and drag to the right it's going to change the exposure so you can do a few things from the histogram highlights I can bring up and down from here but I'm going to leave everything where it was so as I said um, I'm no professional um, I love playing about like I said before um, so if you like what I do you can give me a message or whatever I can do some more um, some more videos and tips and stuff um, I'm getting to grips with it I'm still learning it myself uh, like I said I used to use uh, Photoshop CS5 since getting Lightroom 4 it's I think it's awesome uh, it's so powerful and it's quick and easy to pick up so subscribe and like and all that good stuff my name's Rob take care see you next time